Hey folks, how y'all doing? Van Cap and Woody here. Sorry about the thumb in the way. Um, well, I don't know if y'all, if I told you before, I'm doing five day camps here. Uh, you can stay longer in these national forces up to 14 days. I'm getting ready to move to my next camp. Uh, I'm trying to get in at least two more if all goes right as planned. And, um, so join me, see where I go to, and check out this new uh, permit required free camping. Uh, you get all the information in the description. Catch me on the other side. Back up to Interstate 10 from Buckhorn's uh, camp over here in Appalachian Golden National Forest. And I'm going over here to the Northwest Water Management District area camping. These camps over here that require a permit for free camping, they don't allow you seven days of camp, so that works out about right for me because I'm doing five days at a time. So join me. Here we go. Ain't too much further from the exit. I think it's a total of 98 miles from uh, Buckhorn to uh, this camp I'm going to. I'll tell you what the name is when I get there. Ah, right, we'll catch y'all on the other side. here at Bonifay, exit 112. Uh, geez, he's going to give me some directions here in just a minute because I get, get off the exit. <laughs> Bear with me, I'm going to make my turn. We're going to go south to the interstate. Bonifay, in half a mile, take exit 112 for Florida 79 South. Back to the north, uh, where all the shopping is and the um, grocery stores up there and the fast food places. Take exit 112, then keep a left at the fork. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Gigi. Left at the fork, then turn left onto Florida 79 South. Turn left onto Florida 79 South, South Waukesha Street. Continue on Florida 79 South for 8 miles.
about a half a mile from my In half a mile, turn left onto Cypress Springs Road. Take the next left onto Cypress Springs Road. Continue on Cypress Springs Road for three quarters of a mile. In 600 feet, you will arrive at your destination. Okay, let me get her open this gate. Okay, that was the wrong gate. Uh, Google map brought me to this gate here off of Cypress. And actually, I go back out to 79 and go back into the address 3008. It's in uh, Highway 277 in Vernon, Florida. So we're going to go back out there. Bear with me. Get you on the other side. on Florida 79 South for three miles. Florida. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Florida 277 North, Roche Avenue. Thank you, Gigi. Vernon, Florida. Next left onto Florida 277 North, Roche Avenue. Continue 
on Florida 277 North for five miles. Catch y'all with the turn and go into the camp there. Go for it. Turn the fuck. Oh, no. We're almost there. In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. You've arrived. Well, folks, as you approach the recreation area coming out of Vernon, coming north, there are actually three signs that uh, mark the property. First one tells you about it being the recreation area, camping and uh, canoeing. The second sign is the entrance into the recreation area, to which you'll see here a little bit. You got to go into the uh, Rec area to go to the camping area, which is in there. So uh, it was worth the turnaround to come back in here. Check it out, heading in here. See you on the other side. Recreation area. This is what the camp looks like. Camping bot for a minute. Have to pack it in. Back in here, camping area, restricted road, campsite reservation, Northwest Ward. Yep, that's what I did. There are the three camps right there. And we got the first camp right here, number one. All 
Alright, that's it. I found the camp. <sighs> well, I talked to the other side. I'll tell you what's here. Alright, folks. Uh, as you can see, I found the camp. Uh, Come here to the last camp, camp number three. Let's see what's in here picnic tables, there's grills, fire pits. Garbage cans, a pavilion at each of them. That's camp number two. Here's camp number one. That's the one that I, I got reserved. I'll get pictures of the sign. Close one. I'll come back in. The, I'll come back over here. Uh, bear with me. I'm gonna take y'all over to see the main entrance coming in here. I think y'all seen a little bit of it coming in. Uh, it's up there. Too far, there's a portable potty. And I'll tell you exactly, uh, it's a Northwest Florida Water Management. You go to uh, that site and get your free permit. Hold on, I'll take you over to the other side right quick. We do have a handicap accessible uh, porta potty here with a ramp. Uh, one main pavilion in here. Garbage, garbage cans all around. We'll go around here to the left. You can see the main feature of this area here. This is a recreation area, so I imagine on the weekends, during the spring and summer, the fall is going to be busy up in here. See why here in just a minute. There's no boat launch or anything, but it's just a tough parking area here. Right here, got a ramp going down to the water, which is definitely high. All that uranium again in here. That's the handicap ramp down to the water. <laughs> it's actually way high. It ain't supposed to be at the bottom of the steps. That's the river out there. A little muddy because all the rain you've been having. Let me go back up here to the camp. There's the sign, it tells you. It says restricted road campsite res reservation required to come here to your camp. Here's camp number one. Where I'm going to be for the next, uh, five days tell y'all more about it here in a little bit I'll get a picture of these signs too right quick one more look at the camp uh, garbage can you got a grill griddle over there grill picnic tables fire pit there's a I guess it's for tent camping I wouldn't recommend bringing a uh, travel trailer back in here but for tent and car and uh, uh, van camping, it's right up my alley. I'll catch you on the other side with my final thoughts. Okay, that that is a cotton landing here in the um, huh, we watch you uh, area. Um, nice little uh, place. It was 
<laughs> it was a challenge getting in here. Google Maps took me uh, uh, to where I uh, first got or marked or found it. It took me to a back gate uh, that was on the opposing side of the river of the camp. And uh, that's why it was lo uh, locked. It was maintenance. So I called the phone number that was listed on the on the uh, uh, website for uh, Northwest Florida Water Management District. A water district, however they call it up here. Uh, be sure to check the link because I'll send you to the link of the uh, Northwest Florida Management and also send you to Camp Life. Camp Life is where you got to go to make the reservation at. It's free. Uh, the only the difference between these camps and the National Force camps is you can only stay for seven days. So, uh, you know, um, they're pretty good. They're okay during the week. So, I like my five day stay. On the weekend, that's usually when the locals come in there with, you know, with the kids and whatnot. Uh, and it being a recreation area before you go into the camp. Uh, so it's day use. And um, there are people in there picnicking. And, you know, and you've seen the pavilions. They have the porter potties. Nice and clean. I got to use it. Um, each camp has its own garbage can, its own fire pit, its own griddle, and its own pavilion. Um... I wouldn't advise bringing any big travel trailers in here, but you could probably bring a small RV in here, a uh, camper, uh, a van, a uh, pickup van, tent camping, of course. And um, you walk, it's not that far, you can see it's not that far to walk back down there to where the, uh, you can go into the water. Now, this time of year, because all the rain is while the water was all muddy, it was raised up. Uh, come uh, summertime, it'll be lower down, it'll be, it's clear water. Um, and it's got some pretty deep spots in it, so you know, uh, you can get in and have fun with it. Um, uh, I like it, it's a, a nice little, little quaint camp by myself, me and Nebo, uh, right now. So, uh, that's how we're going to handle it. Um, this, uh, I have one more camp that I'm going to attempt to go to. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm having problems with my knees, uh, they're hurting like I've never hurt before. Um, and, you know, I've got a high pay, pain threshold, but uh, it's it got to a point where I'm very, very concerned. So I'm going to check it out, and um, that's going to be the deciding factor if I make it to, my, uh, to the last camp here in, in the Panhandle of Florida. I really wanted to go to it because it's, it's uh, 14 days with the camp post. If you uh, mind your manners, they'll let you stay a little longer, and they got free showers over there. So uh, we'll see. How things go. Hey, that's the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, uh, thumbs down, comment, whatever you want. I appreciate everything. Uh, welcome to you new subscribers. I appreciate it with all my heart. Everyone, each and all of y'all that have subscribed to the channel. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, it's a little bit different than what the big YouTubers are. I might try to be big anyways. I'm already big, you yeah. know. But um, anyways, I appreciate y'all. So for now, y'all stay safe, keep smiling, we'll catch you on the other side.